Yeah, 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 what's going on guys? Kim here today and as you can see in front of the screen You've got two products and uh, these products are gonna be needed if you are going to upgrade your PS5 storage So currently I bought a 980 Pro PCIe 4.0 NVMe M, uh, M, M.2 uh, <laughs> SSD um, I'm not sure how to even call, call this to be honest with you. It's a it's a it's a NVMe. It's not even an SSD. But um, this is memory. This is the memory you probably are gonna have to purchase if you wanna upgrade your PlayStation Five. If you do have a PlayStation Five and uh, you've got already, if if you already even have a few games on there, I think I've got like GTA, COD, Rocket League, and uh, and one other game that I can't think of. Uh, Splitgate and some other thing and i think i got 200 gigs left and i i don't know i've got 200 gigs left and the playstation comes with like 700 and something uh gigs of storage and it's pretty much nearly all, all gone me i'm telling you it's probably it's it's nine times out of ten it's cod yeah but um obviously uh gta is kind of a big game as well and it's gonna be free to play very soon like the online portion of it um it's gonna be free to play very soon so i'm sure it's gonna it's gonna add more more data to your already existing uh data so it's probably best if you are gonna obviously upgrade your bloody you know you're you're gonna update your memory on your playstation 5 uh these are the two products that are needed uh the the samsung um 980 pro is a 700 megabytes of read speed and write speed i think it's read speed sorry not write speed um that is what playstation is asking for you can go lower i'm not gonna lie you can go lower it has been tested i've watched videos i've, I've done the research done it all for you guys so you guys don't have to yeah but the thing is it has to be pcie 4.0 and it has to have at least uh requirements of five uh five thousand read speed which is i think like five gigs altogether i think that's like seven gigs and the other ones are five gigs so um i might be wrong but seven thousand and five thousand but there is a but to this the seven thousand obviously got to be more expensive right and obviously we all know why because obviously it's the, the added the more processing power and, and everything else for it to go to 7k but if you are gonna get a 5000 one just bear out in mind the price will be slightly lower but future games might not be able to go on that ssd or that nvme yeah so bear that in mind also the thing next to it this this bloody thing the heat shield yeah the heat shield is needed it's it's a requirement playstations playstation has asked uh the beta testers to or has stated that they need to add a heat uh heat shield thing to the nvme uh it's very easy to apply all, all it is is some uh like thermal adhesive and it literally just goes on top of the nvme and uh, yeah it's literally very simple this is a low profile one so this is a low profile bloody um heat sink that goes onto the nvme and it will sit nice and flush on the obviously inside the playstation with the cover case on and the little metal bit that comes with the playstation that needs to be um part of it as well so Make sure you buy these products. Um, there's other SSDs that you can buy or NVMEs that you can buy that are obviously 7,000 read speed, maybe higher. But they're more expensive. I went for this one. I think I ended up paying £162 for it. If you get it from Amazon, it's 167 I'm actually going to get myself a deal on this one. But the only problem is it's a terabyte. I want a 2 terabyte one. Uh, the PlayStation can support up to four terabytes. So if you go any higher, it's not supported. So four terabytes is the highest. But if you are gonna get a four terabyte drive, you're looking for hella, hella, hella money. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. So one terabyte, two terabyte, that's enough. More companies are gonna start doing obviously NV NVMe uh, M M.2 drives. 
closer to the future where obviously PlayStation implements the update. Uh, at the moment, it's only beta testers that can test these, these things out. I can apply for a beta test, but there's there's no point. I might as well just wait wait for it until it's done. I already have what I need. These are definitely going to be useful. Um, literally, these are, these, these are the ones that you kind of want. There's a, there's a Fire Cuda one as well that you can use. And there's a Seagate one as well, if I'm not sure. But you, it's completely up to you guys. Obviously, this is completely optional. You do not have to have this, yeah? You do not have to have this. This is only if you obviously like your PlayStation you want more space on your playstation to put more games on your playstation or if not you can always delete them and then re-download them it's completely up to you obviously this is more convenient so but it says states on the thing that some games are not going to be able to be put on there so i don't know why they would do that some games are not going to be able to go on the on the external drive they have to go into the actual playstation um drive i don't know why Ugh bit silly uh it's it's uncalled for but it, it, it is what it is it, we're, we're not we're not obviously in charge of that but if you guys want to uh get these two products uh the low profile heat sink came all the way from america so if you're american you can get that real easy but uh there, i'm sure there is other heat sinks that you guys can buy i bought this one just mainly because it looked cool and it was kind of cheap you know I'm trying to save money here. I'm not trying to break bank or my bank account just to obviously <laughs> add some storage to my uh, already expensive PlayStation. You know, um, this SSD was obviously the most expensive one. I do have an SS um, NVMe PCIe free on my PC. That thing's rapid, mate. That thing's hella rapid, yeah. But this is probably gone even more faster, but. Um, one day i'm probably gonna upgrade but at the moment in time this is gonna go on my playstation and uh, i cannot wait i'm excited obviously to make a bring the video out when uh, the update for the playstation 5 allows you to uh, obviously add add them so if you guys are interested well, i'm gonna do it anyway because obviously it's content uh but uh, <laughs> make sure you drop a like and uh yeah if you guys uh want to buy the same ones that i have head over to obviously amazon or just type this this name is 980 pro pcie 4.0 nvme m.2 and make sure it's got 7000 read speed and it's from samsung and it's completely up to you if you want a um, one terabyte or a two terabyte i would recommend you to get a one terabyte unless you're mr rich guy over here then go ahead and buy the two two terabyte and obviously get a heatsink do your research on heat sinks uh you want to get one that obviously is compatible with the playstation 5 so you want to look for a low profile one make sure it's low profile and uh make sure it will fit into obviously your little space compartment that goes into uh the drives of the playstation 5 so i'm gonna try and leave a list of other ssds that you guys are can use it's completely up to you if you want to do this and i'll link you guys the uh, heat sink i know this heat sink is going to fit in there perfectly i looked at videos i looked at bloody uh, pictures reviews and everything is going to fit in there just perfectly and uh, so i think it's going to have a bit of clearance as well to to, to let that air uh, into the obviously out the system and into the uh, out into the playstation for it to be blown out so yeah so thank you all so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys i hope this uh, video helped uh, make sure you obviously go and cop yourself uh, <laughs> an NVMe if you obviously want to uh, upgrade your bloody uh, PlayStation storage. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm not sure when the next video is going to be, but it's going to be soon. So appreciate you guys and see ya.